What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at NVIDIA stock. So guys, today NVIDIA made a touchdown right at the very level, very like precise, penny to penny, this 820 Four to eight hundred twenty-three dollars. Like if I just, it was the exact value, eight hundred and twenty-four and twenty-one cents. If I move this box around, which I will today, because I want to now focus on the just this zone. Okay, so precisely look at it. Right over there, we reacted to this level. That's why it's so important this distribution phase bottom, because as we lose this, guys, it's just the flush waiting to happen down. So. Let's see. So today, so you are seeing this buying up happening. Is NVIDIA finding a support? Is it going to turn bullish tomorrow? Or are we going to see that final flush tomorrow, the Friday of this week, and this week would mark it, you know, the top on NVIDIA or the distribution phase on NVIDIA, however you want to call it, and starting next week, we prepare to go much more down. So, so we'll talk about all of that in this video, guys. We'll talk about the possibilities, the levels to watch the price action, I'll also take you over this options data. I'll explain the chart when I go through it and my opinion and sentiment. But um, for now, let's start with the technicals or let's start with the options data today first. And um, I want to let you know, none of this is any financial advice, only for education purposes. I'm only sharing my opinion. You are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and outcomes, okay? So yeah, I wanna go over first this data here on NVIDIA options data. So Guys, this white line is today's closing price and those gray lines are the previous day's closing prices, okay? Now, right off the gate, what I'm seeing is that there was still a lot of call options played at 900. Look at this bright green. So bright green is today's options. Bright red, which a little bit is being hard to distinguish, I can understand. Um, so that is the one that you just take it as the most right corner, most red. Those are the puts from today. And then the other ones are from the previous days. I'll make sure I'll give it more contrast from, uh, future videos. So right off the gate, I'm, I can't believe 900 calls are still being played so much. I'm seeing a spike as well on these. Wow. But they are not working out. They're still losing money, right? And then um, on the put side, yep, these puts are in the money now, 850. There we have a spike here, but then then we have a less of a, at 800. Maybe some of them have been closed, but today they are less of it. But all in all, the density on the puts is still sitting between $800 to $850. That's where the puts density is still sitting. I'm not seeing much calls like scattered um, above the price. Even today, we had some high calls at 850, but that was it. But more and more puts are being played. $900, I don't know why some are trying to play $900 calls. Maybe they are cheaper, but they are really like not giving any money here. They are just, look at it. Um, at, at least they are gonna be cooked by tomorrow, more most likely. And when I say most likely, I think, yeah, these calls are cooked, guys. $900 calls are cooked. All right, that's the options data. Let's focus on the technicals now. So, what we have today, as I said, we did a touch down here at $824 level, right? And we bounced back up. We are below 20 and above 50 days moving average, but we are sandwiching. Now, what shall we make out of it? Let's go to the five minutes interval. And so we had a bounce today. And, you know, as I'm going to take you through this video, I want to show you my day trading bot on NVIDIA. Even on the downtrending days, my bot is giving profitable position. Look at it, what a nice buying position it got and then scaled out in the profits. Awesome, all right? So even on the downtrending days when the buying is captured, bot makes money, I love it. If you need access to my tools, links are in the description below. I have, two I have two indicators, two trading bots and Wall Street alerts. These are only educational tools. There's guarantee of nothing, okay? When I say guarantee of nothing, I mean, all these, uh, the tools, the signals, they are meant to be taken for reference and education purposes. All right. Um, I don't, uh, you know, I don't guarantee anything. Guys, yes, apply it, you will get rich. No, there is nothing, no guarantee like that. Okay, so we, yeah, so let's go back to the daily interval. So yeah, we 
are now going to identify in this you know video if tomorrow can we go lower or are we setting up for upside so one hour interval let's start there in the post market you can see nbd is at 844 two dollars down so what i talked about in my morning video if nvidia can recapture 859 and close above it yes it will start to get into the bullish territory um however guys look at this that's why indicator my the indicator that levels are marked are so important we rejected right at that significant level the black dashed line 859 and we sold off down to our next level of 841 let me do one thing here on my indicator let me do intraday depth level medium so that it adjusts the priority again all these uh explanation if you have access to my tools i have training videos and if you already are a member you already know how to use these settings so yeah on hourly interval yeah we rejected 859 so bulls couldn't recapture it guys we are we are constantly in the downtrend lower highs even lately right and lower lows lower lows now here's the thing tomorrow if nvidia continues to lose this level of 850 823 is coming again for sure and guys that's the thing today you can see it found some uh this these double bottoms from the past it found that you know the buying here right the demand zone that's fine first time it will work that's fine but the next test if it happens without breaking the structure to the upside these things usually gets negated and look at it still falling four dollars down now in the post market so nvidia guys as if it loses tomorrow 839 area you can expect 823 coming again and not sure if this time it's gonna hold i think it's likely that it's gonna flush but what i want to say is that 75 percent and 80 percent we are bearish on nvidia both bulls could have made it 50 50 if they could have closed nvidia above 859 but they couldn't do it so yeah nvidia has a room to go to the downside and most likely as i said tomorrow we might lose 823 and will mark nvidia losing a pivot point and starting next week then you just have to see this going downside you guys again you can be bull or bear i don't have any bias on not just nvidia but any stock i trade stocks technically both sides long and short i'm here to make money i'm not here to uh you know become like a big fan of one stock and then just say oh nvidia should go to ten thousand dollars its company is great it's worth this no no i'm here to play the technicals whatever it's a chart telling me i'm gonna do that okay so nvidia is a great company guys but stock price right now is telling me something different type of place so i'm gonna talk about the stock price technicals okay so don't get me wrong i'm 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 i love nvidia all right i i played a lot of games right when i was young um i think i'm i don't know if i'm still young or what but when i was young in my young days guys i played a lot of games you know on computer and nvidia was the graphics card i love nvidia if it was not have been for nvidia like intel graphics card didn't do anything like nvidia was the one that would really run my heavy games on you know hd you know pixels and all that so yeah company is great but trading the stock is different thing than what is company doing okay now the the way the charts are looking like it's you know on nvidia as tomorrow as if we lose 50 days moving average guys which is at what 838 right and that 838 dollars level is right where this uh, pretty much one of the levels is on the hourly interval 839 or so right so very close once we lose this we're gonna lose all of it guys and very likely we might plummet so it all comes down to this 824 all comes down to this level 824 dollars level right over here right so we'll see what happens tomorrow and yes 80 percent right now things are in the bears camp if nvidia wants to become bullish again it needs to get above 859 tomorrow if it can do it we can talk about upside then otherwise no it is still the game to the downside and accordingly you will handle the position with the stop loss cool good stuff so yes guys is that all junior trader guys that's pretty much it okay there is nothing complicated here simple easy peasy 
and yeah i think uh, nvidia again look the, the thing is that how low can nvidia go then so the next significant level to the downside i'm seeing is guys at uh 663 actually so that's fine like that's not a bad thing if you are a bull you would like to reload here and sell in the extensions again right so i won't doubt if at 663 if nvidia comes down there that it will try to go higher back to 825 at least right yeah and then we'll see if it makes a big low lower high right so but yeah and on intraday levels uh on hourly interval the next level we have is on intraday 771 so that's the possibility but We'll see what happens according to these levels. You have the levels in the price section to watch, okay? Cool, guys, that's all my sentiment and opinion. And that's all what I want to share with you in this video. If you found this video helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. And with that, I'll see you in my next videos. Take care, guys. Bye.